Fender Guitar Company, founded by an unemployed accountant who never learned to play the guitar, was sold to CBS for $13 million on January 4. In 1965, CBS purchased the Fender Guitar Company for $13 million from Leo Fender. This was also close to $2 million more than CBS paid for the New York Yankees just two years before. Fender Guitar Company was bought from CBS by Fender employees in 1985 as CBS continued to lower the quality of the Fender product being produced. After taking control, the staff renamed the company, Fender Musical Instruments Corporation, and resumed producing high-quality instruments and musical equipment. Fender Musical Instruments Corporation is now the world's largest stringed instrument producer, with yearly sales of over $200 million. Leo Fender went to college to study accounting while continuing to teach himself electronics as a pastime, without attending any electronics classes. For quite some time after graduating, Fender worked as an accountant. He created the Fender Radio and Record Shop in Fullerton, CA, after losing his job owing to the Great Depression, where he was able to combine his passion of music and fiddling with electronics. In this situation, losing his work due to the Great Depression was one of the nicest things that could have occurred to him. Amplifier repair was initially one of the services he provided at his shop. To get past many of the design faults he observed in existing amplifier designs, Fender began designing and producing his own amplifiers. For example, he was contracted to develop a PA system specifically for use at dances, with the specific necessity of eliminating the feedback that was common in previous systems at the time when utilized in compact settings like school gyms and the like. In his early years, he also sold albums at his business to help pay the expenses. Later on, he moved on from amplifier design and repair to instrument design. Despite designing the first commercially successful solid-body electric guitar, the Telecaster, as well as the most influential of all electric guitars, the Stratocaster, and inventing the solid-body electric bass guitar, the precision bass, Fender was not a musician and could not play a note of guitar himself. As such, he had to bring in musicians to properly test out the prototypes of his guitars. Following the sale of Fender, Leo founded two new musical instrument firms, G&L Musical Instruments, and Music Man, both of which focused on high-end guitars with features comparable to Gibson guitars, such as a 24-3-4 scale neck and other features.